and we are live good evening everybody thank you very much for joining us as always with these live streams let us know if you can hear us and you can see us okay arthur's joining me tonight Hi. as is rob Hi. and we're going to be doing a three-player tutorial and playthrough of Jin or De Jin, however you want to pronounce it. I think I think it's a silent D, isn't it? it is, yeah. uh, so this is a new game that's coming out at Essen Spiel 2023. Paul Games is the publisher. Pegasus Spiel also uh, distribute the game as well. Uh, the game is designed by Benjamin, and I'm going to say it's Schwer. I think that's right. Uh, and Hall Games do a lot of development on their games as well. Now, if you've not heard of this game, there's two reasons why this game was on my radar. The first one is Hall Games. Uh, and I'm saying this, I'm, I'm personal friends with Ralph who is the, the publisher, um, but they do really good games. So Hall Games have done fantastic games in the past. I have a lot of confidence in what they do from a design perspective. But this is the guy who designed Crown of Amara. And Crown of Amara is one of those games that if you haven't played it, you should definitely try playing it because Crown of Amara, there is... I don't think I've ever heard anything bad said about the game. Apart from if you don't like Euro games, it might be a bit dry and boring, but it's an extremely good game. And this is by the designer... Uh, of Crown of Mara. So that that put this game onto my radar. Um, we're going to be doing a tutorial and playthrough tonight. We've all played the game before. We are all experts at the game. As you, as <laughs> well, Rob is because he's undefeated at the game. Um, we've already played through a game of it this afternoon. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you a bit of an overview at the start. We'll then start playing and we'll explain the different actions as we go along. It means that once, you, once you're probably about 30 minutes into the into the video, you'll probably have an idea of, of how it plays. We did have some rules questions this afternoon, which I have sent through to Ralph. Hopefully Ralph is going to read that email now and he'll reply to me. Um, if we get to the point in the game where I need an answer, I, I will ask Ralph for that answer. Um, oh, he sent me the answers. Almost all of them are yes. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, and apologies to Ralph from Lookout Games, who I have been sending email questions to... <laughs> All afternoon um because i got the wrong ralph this afternoon so apologies for that right um just a couple of extra things before we start this is a sponsored video uh thank you very much to hall games for sponsoring this video as such you're not getting you're not going to get any opinions from us in this video this is not going to be a review we are here today to show you how the game plays to see if a this is a game that you're interested in to see if it's one that you would pick up yourself or b if you've already ordered the game but you want to see it clean played and you learn how to play then that's what this video is. As always, I do rely on the financial support of the Patreon campaign to keep the channel going. So if you are in a position to be able to support me, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Uh, and I will be sharing my personal thoughts on the game with my Patreon supporters on the Slack channel later on tonight and over the weekend. Right then. So welcome to Jin. What we are is we are all mages. Uh, we are apprentices of the Magic Guild. And these gin have appeared on the board. Let me just press this button here. I've got this button here. This is the board set up at the start of the game. Uh, and these wooden pieces, and they are screen printed. And what's very cool is that it's a different thing on both sides. So that's the front, that's the back. Uh, these gin have appeared. And what we've got to do is we've got to go round, uh, kind of use our magic power to trap them, and then put them in bottles and put a cork in the bottle so that they don't escape. That, that's essentially what we're doing in the game. I'm going to explain a little bit about the setup uh, as we start. Ralph is ask, asking, asking any questions. Yes, there is a solo mode included in the game, which I haven't had a chance to try yet. But again, I know Ralph's solo modes are very good, so I have high hopes for that one. So what we've got is we've got this area here, which is a city. But you'll notice that we have circular spaces and we have square spaces. Now, these are actual, if I can get them out, these, these are counters. So I'm not going to be able to get it out, but basically you randomize where these go at the start of the game. So you randomize the position of the circle action spaces and you randomize the position of the square action spaces. And there is a rule in there to say, um, if you want to reduce the difficulty, make sure that no two identical symbols are directly connected by a path. Now we've laid these out randomly. So this is how they are. Um, there's also an advanced version of the game, which we are playing today. So we've played it with the advanced version this afternoon, just to let you know. But what we've got is we've got round action spaces. We've got square action spaces. The six round action spaces are there's icons on them. Those icons represent the uh, six different actions that we can do in the game. And the circular action spaces have got the same six icons. So you've got the same six icons on the circular spaces as you have on the square spaces. But the circular spaces are more powerful. And as such, 
they are surrounded by jinn. What you have is you have these silver ones. These are bosses. And everywhere that there is a boss, there are three other jinn. That's because we're playing a three-player game. If you were playing a two-player game or a solo game, there would only be two. Uh, if you're playing a three- or four-player game, there's three. Now, those jinn are drawn from a bag, and there are four colours. There are brown ones, there are orange ones, there are white ones, and there are blue ones. And, yeah, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going around the board and capturing these. If we ever leave the boss there on their own, then he runs away and disappears off the map. Or we can try and capture him, or them, it, whatever, uh, but they're more powerful. Now, the end of the game is triggered when the six boss gin are removed from the board. So just to give you an idea, that's that's how the game ends. Right. What we're going to be doing in our game is we're going to be taking turns. Uh, the start player has been decided at random. It's going to be Arthur. Arthur is going to take the first turn of the game. Before we jump into that, I'm just going to show you the player boards. So this is my player board. And these two pieces here, this is for the advanced version of the game. So if you're not playing the advanced version, you won't need these two bits. What you have is you have this track here, which represents how much magic power you have. You start the game with two magic power and you spend it to basically try and capture the gin. This token here is your capacity marker. So your maximum capacity at the moment is four. But as you move this marker up, it will allow you to store more magic energy. You also have this marker here, and this is essentially a marker that can be moved to here. And it means that you will replenish, you will recharge your magic power at the start of every turn. Oh, it's three magic power at the start of the game. Oh, yeah, there's a tiny little icon there. It is three. Sorry for that. Three. And Arthur, if you want to put yours on three. So three magic power at the start of the game. Um, but yeah, if that was there, and then on my previous turn, I spent all of my magic power, then at the start of my next turn, I would immediately get one. Uh, down below, we have space for storing keys, scrolls, and coins. These are the three resources in the game. And you'll notice here that at any point in the game, you can use a key as if it was a scroll, a coin, or even a magic power. Scrolls don't have that exchange rate, and coins are here. Uh, up at the top of the board, we have these magic circles. Now, we've got four magic circles, but only two of them are usable at the start of the game. This is where we can capture gin. So if we don't have the bottle to put the gin in, we can actually put it in here temporarily. We have two additional magic circles, but we have to activate them um, at, using some, some way in the game to activate them. Once we do, we get the bonus that's printed on it, we flip it over, and then that is another space where we can capture gin. Uh, also, on the right hand side, you see these four tiny little tokens. There's actually six of these included in the game. Each player has six. And what you do is one player shuffles their tokens, picks four at random, and then everybody has the same token. So we've all got the same four secret passage tokens. We'll explain more about how this uh, how this works as the game goes on. So what's going to happen is Arthur's going to take the first turn of the game, then I will take a turn, then Rob will take a turn. We keep doing that until all of the boss gins are removed from the board. Either we've captured them or they have fled the city. At that point, we finish that round, which is Rob, and then we take one more turn each. And then we do final scoring. I'll give you a quick hint as to what we're trying to do. We are trying to capture gin and put them in bottles. That's going to get us lots of points. There's trophies as well that we'll explain in a minute. But basically, gins that you capture, gins in bottles are good. Any spare bottles and any spare corks are good. And because we're playing with the advanced version, we actually have three scoring cards. So you don't use these in the basic version of the game, but these are extra scoring cards, which is opportunities for us three to score points at the end of the game. And I'll explain them as we go a bit into the video, but we all know what they are and our game play might take those or should take those into account. Right, I think that's enough for a bit of an overview. So Arthur, your first turn of the game, our our mages don't start off on the board. So the first turn of the game, you may place this on the board in next to any is it square location. I remember it's me. I remember I think square, it's, yeah. a, it's yeah. a square location. But the trick with the board is you don't actually put it on the space itself. What you do is you put it at the entrance to a space and the line that you put it on is specifically back. Thank you very much, Paul. I've taken my advanced tiles back. So which action space would you like to go on and which direction would you like to come in from? All right, well, I've, I've thought about this quite a bit and changed my mind four times. <laughs> well, I'm going to go on here. You're going to go on there facing that way. 
Now, the reason why it's important is not for this turn, because this turn, Arthur is going to be doing that action. Oh, no, is he changing his mind? Is that where I wanted to go? I don't know. No, that wasn't where I That's not where you wanted to go. Where did you want to go? I wanted to go on um, on a chest. There. Yeah. OK, so this is the action that he's going to do this turn. But because he came into this action space from this direction, it means on his next turn, he has to leave that action space from one of the other two paths. So you can't go back on yourself. So next turn, he will either go to this action space and be put there, or he'll go to that action space and go there. Now, there is something in the game that happens when you are, uh, when somebody else is, is on that space. But for now, that's the action you've chosen to do. So there are six different locations in the game or six different actions in the game. And that action is actually the secret catacombs. So I'm just going to press a button here. I think this is the right one for the secret catacombs. No, it's not. Is this the right button for the secret catacombs? In fact, I don't have one for the secret catacombs. So there we go. This is the secret catacombs. And the general flow of the game is that the square action space is the basic action. The circular action space is a super improved action. Now, this one is really easy to explain. With the square action, you reveal one of these chests and you get the bonuses that's printed on it. If you're doing the circular action, you do it twice. So because you're on a square action space, we just reveal this. this these were all shuffled at the start of the game. We place it there and Arthur gets one coin and one scroll. Now, if he had a key, he could spend that key to gain another two coins and one scroll. He doesn't have a key because we don't start with a key. So that's it. That's that's your action done, yep. I believe. Yep. Right. Now it's over to me. I don't know. <laughs> I just noticed that there's a blue gin over here that needs to go in the um in the bag. Um so where do I want to go? Bearing in mind, oh I should start with some extra stuff. Yeah, now now that now that we've done this, let me just explain these two tiles. So these are advanced tiles. There's one green one, which is a positive one, one red one, which is a negative one. And there is a draft at the start of the game in order to get these, but every player will start with a positive one and a negative one. And my positive one is actually a start of game benefit. So that says to me that I start with two additional coins. I start the game with two scrolls and I start the game with one additional magical power. So that is my special start. My negative is that whenever I go to this location to take equipment, I don't get the equipment that I want. I get a random equipment from the bottom of the deck. Anyway, right, there's my starting thing done. So where am I going to go? Bear in mind what we've got here and the fact that I've got some money. I think I might go and get some equipment early on. Um... When you're about to use this ability, let me know, because there's something that I've read about it. I'll tell you at the start of your next turn. Which one? Your top one. Top one. I'll just explain a bit how that works. Um. Yeah, OK. So I am going to go here. So I'm going into that location and I'm coming in from that direction. So that location is the manufactory of magical items. So I'm on the square action space. So what I can do is I can spend two coins, I get a cork, and I get one piece of equipment. Now, equipment comes in, uh, the staff, the hat, and the cloak. Normally, you would choose the top one of either of the piles. However, because of my negative ability, I, only, I get a random one off the bottom of the deck. So I still get one, but it's random. So I am going to spend two coins. So there's my two coins spent. I get a cork. A cork just goes in the top left of your player board. And then I'm going to take a cloak, but instead of getting that one, I'm going to get the one off the bottom of the deck. Now that cloak will sit here and all equipment either has an infinity icon on, which means it's a permanent ability, or it has a one times icon, which means you can use it once and then you flip it over. So what this one means is every time I arrive at a location with that icon, I get one coin. So that that's quite good. And I think that's my go done. So, Rob, you're going. Okay. So, yeah, uh, my disadvantage is that I start with three less money. Yeah, so normally you start with four coins in the game, but Rob's chosen a tile, which means he only starts with one coin. So I think, with that in mind, I'm going to start here, because this gives me... Um, there a might be coins, on the chest. except that's a circle. You can't start in a circle. You can't start in a circle. You can start in a square. Uh, otherwise, okay. we'd have started in circles. Right, <laughs> okay. Yeah. But you could start there. Oh, no, do we have to start in a different one? 
I don't think we do. Let me just double check that. Okay. The first turn in the game. On a path, on a square action space, do not place the mage on the action. They, yeah, yeah, so you can. You could start on the same action space as somebody else. Right. Just not on the same uh, path, I don't think. No, that's fine. I think I'll go there. Yeah. I was saying Mr. Mr. Memo about. Or can you? It says you may place your mage on a path next to a square action pace of your choice. Yeah, I think, and Ralph will confirm this. He says you can start at the same place, but not in the same way as another. Okay, yes, yeah, so you can't start on exactly the same path as another player. But you're happy with that one? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so yeah. that action is the Dragon Goblet Tavern, which is this button here. So at the Dragon Goblet Tavern, Tavern, there are two types of mages. There are mages without keys and there are mages with keys. Uh, you shuffle the big deck of cards and you split it into two. And with the square action space, you can only take one of these. These are mages without keys. If you had the circular action space, you could take one of these or you could take one of these. These are better, but you can only go there on the circular action space. And if you do, if you take one of these, you also get a key. Now, mages are basically people that you can hire, friends that you know, and you can pay them to help you capture the djinn. And some of them are better against certain coloured djinns. So which one of those would you like? So I'll take uh, this one on the right here. Yeah. So they don't cost anything to hire them. And what they do is they just go below your play board. But whenever Rob is about to capture a djinn, you can pay that person one coin and they will generate their magic power to help him capture the djinn. And that's it. Yep. Right. Turn two. Now, on this turn of the game, I believe we are all going to be visiting a circular action space because that's how the game is laid out. So, Arthur, you have a choice. You can either go leave here and go to here, or you can go to there. I'm going to go to the archive. Okay. Next to the archive. Yep. So, the archive location um, is. Do I have a button set up for this? I do have a button set up for this. So this is the archive location. So if you use the square action of the archive, you get to do one of these five actions. If you choose the circular archive space, you get to do two of the actions, but they must be different. Now, the other thing to mention here is Arthur has arrived at a location or an action space that has Jin. What that means is that on his turn, he has a mandatory action that he has to do in addition to his normal action of trying to capture the djinn. Now that mandatory action can be done before or after his other action. So which one would you like to do first? I choose after. You're going to choose afterwards. So you're going to do the normal action space first. So you've got five actions. Mm. Which two of those five actions would you like to do? Do this one. This one. So this icon here is you activate one of your magic circles. So I'm just going to scroll up a bit so we see what Arthur's doing. Now you've got two of them on the board. You have to activate the one on the left first. And the benefit of activating that one is that you gain two magic power. Now you can only gain one because he's at his capacity. Mm -hmm. Which other action would you like to do from this list of five? This one. Secret passage. Secret passage. Okay. So we've all got four secret passages in the game. And whenever you get to place one on the board, you put it next to any of the square locations you can't already have a secret passage there and the icon on it must be different from any other icon which is on that space well we'll put it there it's got to be a square oh yeah <laughs> okay um i know i'm here just to sell you that you can't do the things that you want to do <laughs> that's my job okay uh in which case i think Oh, we'll put it there. Okay. Now, that means whenever Arthur visits this location or goes to this action space, he can do this action or he can do that action. So nobody else can use it, but it does give him the flexibility. And there is a benefit once you've got all four of your secret passages out. There's a benefit, which I'll explain in a minute. Right. So you've done your two actions. Mm. You now must try to capture a gin. Now, I say you must try to capture it. You can choose not to, but if you don't capture a djinn, then you lose one magic power. So to capture a djinn, it costs four magic power for a normal one. 
the bosses, it costs four plus two for every one that's there. And you can capture more than one if you are able to. And if you do capture a boss, you get one of the smaller ones for free. Now, I know Arthur has only got four power and no way of increasing that. So you do you want to capture one? I guess yeah. you do. I spent four power. So you spend four power. Which one do you want to capture? Okay. And he, if he had a, a white bottle and a cork, he could put it straight into the bottle. The bottles, by the way, they are off camera, but they look like this. And there are bottles specifically colour coded for each type of gin. Uh, if you don't have a bottle and a cork, you can put it on one of your magic circles. It's still worth points at the end of the game, but not as many as if it was in a bottle. When am I going to explain Arthur's advanced positive tile? Let's explain it now. So your advanced, your positive tile means when you go to the Academy of Magical Arts, whether you do the basic action or the super action, you gain three magic power. Your tile allows you to forego gaining ah. that power ah. in order to... Yeah, so it's not quite not what it says it. on the title. Yeah, okay. Well, what it says on the title is spend it. Well, it says uh, activate up to two mage cards for the cost of one magic power. Yeah, so it's of the three magic power you gain, you may use one or two of it to activate one or two mage cards. It's actually better, because okay. if you were at your limit and you yeah. couldn't gain the three... Right, I thought you were saying I, 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 I didn't gain this at all. No, no, no. Yeah. Got, so you could I, I gain, gain this and I can choose to do this. Out of that, you yeah. can yeah. forego gaining yeah. one or two to activate yeah. Yeah, two yeah, mages. So it's, it's a bit more flexible. My go? So you're done, you've captured the, the gin. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go to, well, <clears throat> now that that's there and that's there, I think I'm going to go here. So I'm going to go to the market. So the market is this place up here. And I'm at the circular market, but again, this is relatively simple. So with the square market, you move your assistant onto one of the tents. There are six tents. This is a three and four play game. Uh, you probably can't see it, but this is a tile which you flip over if you're playing a two-player game or a solo game. Uh, and what you do is you move your assistant onto one of the tents. You cannot stay where you are. If you've got the circular action, which is what I'm doing, you do that twice. So my first action is I'm going to move to there and I am going to spend one scroll in order to gain a bottle and a cork. And I'm going to gain, I think... I'm going to gain a blue bottle, so that's mine. Then, because I'm on a circular space, I'm going to use my action to go here. And I can spend one coin to gain one bottle, two coins to gain two different bottles, or four coins to gain three different bottles. I'm going to spend two coins, and I'm going to gain two different bottles, and I'm going to gain another blue one. And I'm going to gain another white one. Now, I have to say at this point, you're trying to get sets of three. Because if you get a set of three gin of the same colour uh, in bottles, and the bosses count as any colour, then you're going to get a trophy tile. And that's a nice little bonus. Now, we learned in the last game that three gin, they're actually worth 10 points each at the end of the game. And if you get one of these trophy tiles, you have to discard the gin. But these trophy tiles are worth 30 points. So effectively, you're not losing any points by taking one of these. But there is a nice little bonus to have on there. But it isn't essential. If you manage to capture three different colours, that's still still 30 points. It's still a lot of points. The winning score in the last game, by the way, and Ralph, you can tell us if this is a good score or not, was 76? 78? So Rob scored 78 this afternoon in the first game. Let us know if that's, uh, if that's good. Right. So now I've moved there, I've done the circular action, I've done that twice. I am now in this marketplace. There is a cost now if anybody else wants to use that marketplace. And now I am going to try and capture a gin. I have four magic power. I spend the four magic power. We're going to capture a blue one and I'm not going to put it in my magic circle. I'm actually going to put it straight in the bottle with the cork. So there you go. That's how that works. Just to show you what this looks like. There you go. I've put the gin in the bottle and I've put the cork on top. So that right there is worth 10 points to me at the end of the game. But I'm trying to get a set of three. That's what Paul, I'm trying Paul's to do. Winning is what we're saying. I, yeah, I'm Paul's winning. winning. Yeah, well, I, 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 I learned from the master this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> right, go. Cool. Your go. Um, right, uh, I'm going to go here. Yep. Um, and 
get two of these. So it's a treasure chest location. It's a yep. circular treasure chest location. So the first one is two coins. Right, just what I needed. You yep. don't have a key. And then the second one is three coins. Okay. Well, that's, that's solved your money yeah, problem. There's your money yeah, problem yeah. sorted. Yeah. And you have some gin. I have some gins. Today. Ralph is saying 75 points is a little bit lower than the average we played without the advanced. No, we um, we played with the advanced rules this afternoon. So I'm going to use my mage. Right. To give me one yeah. extra so magic what I'm going to do is if I can just borrow your mage. Yeah. I will show people how this works. So this is the mage that Rob's got. And it's basically saying that he can spend one coin to hire the services of this mage for this uh, for this combat with these these gin. It generates one magic power and for every blue one that he tries to capture, he gets an extra one. Are you trying to capture a blue one? I've You're not. Email. So you just, it's one coin for the extra one magic power. Yeah. And then what happens is the mage is flipped over. It is inactive. There are various ways in the game that you can reactivate them, um, but you can't use them while they're inactive. So brown or orange? I'll take a brown one, please. Brown one. There you go. Let's find what's them down. That's my, my turn done. That is your turn indeed done. Arthur. I'm going to scoot along to the Academy of Magical Arts. Academy of the Magical Arts. The Academy of the Magical Arts is this action here. So the Academy of the Magical Arts, the basic action, which is what um, Arthur is about to do now, is gain one scroll and gain three magic power. The advanced or the super action is you move your capacity marker to the right and you gain one scroll and you gain three power. So it's a it's a better version. But you've just done the basic action, and because you've got a special ability, you could have reactivated any mages with your power. Right. All done? Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm going here, I think. Oh, but books are nice. Yeah, no, I'm going here. So I'm going to this action space here. Now, because I've got this cloak, whenever I go to an action space with that icon. I gain a coin and then I am going to hire a mage and it's going to be this one. So it's a little fairy creature, doesn't cost anything to activate and just provides one, one magic power. That's my good one. Well, that came around quickly. It did. <laughs> I'm going to go here. Yeah. It's just the market. Yeah. So yeah. the fact that Arthur's got a secret passage here doesn't, doesn't bother you. No. You I can't do. use it. So half the spaces are unavailable because I don't have scrolls. Right. Um, so this is the market. So this is the first time Rob's used the market. So he's going to have to move his assistant to one of these tents. Now he can move it to the same tent as somebody else. But if he does, as you can see here, he would have to pay one coin or one scroll to that player. And that's for every player that's there. So if Arthur was there as well and Rob really wanted to use this space, he could but you'd have to pay both me and Arthur one coin or one scroll. So which action would you like to do? Well, I think at this stage, I need scrolls to pay for other things. So I'm going to buy a scroll. So you're going to go here yeah. and you're going to spend one coin for two scrolls. Yeah. Okay. I think I have a mission to circumnavigate the city. Uh, <laughs> then, we're going to here. Yep. Yeah. Which is a circular... It's a circular um, dragon goblet tavern. Super. So you can take any of these four, and if you take one of these two, it comes with a key. And a downside for me. But anyway, um, nevertheless... Yeah, so I'll take... Um, I'll take this guy. Who's a... Okay, and I will take this key chappy now i suffer a downside that he is inactive yeah so um arthur's negative special ability is whenever he hires one of the magicians that comes with a key that magician starts inactive and then i will take on a gin right so you've got three magic power yourself mm. So I'm going to spend two money to activate this mage. Yeah. He gives me two, two. magic and the, I get a discount of one against the white. Against the white. Gin. So that so if you're using that to capture the white one, that's three. So just chip in one. You only need one of your own. There you go. Another white gin has been captured. Mm -hmm. Now, 
observant ones among you will have noticed that in the center of the board there is this this is a, a, an action space which i'm not going to explain just yet but at some point in the game one of us might go there and when we do we'll we'll explain how how this works hmm. my oh, go yep. I you forgot to spend your magic power yeah, right done okay um, no, I've got no magic power, but I've got this, which is one. So I need to recharge that somehow. I don't have a key. I mean, I could go here. Here's... Oh, I could. Yes, we're going to do it. So I'm going to go here. So this is the Academy of Magical Arts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my capacity marker up by one. I am going to gain one scroll. Can you throw me, uh, can you throw me some scrolls, Arthur? How many scrolls would you like? Oh. I gain a scroll and I gain three magic power. So that's the benefit sorry, of going to uh, the circular action of the Academy of Magical Arts. And now I'm going to capture a gin because I have three magic power from my own and this mage is free to use. So there's the four. I'm going to capture another white one. And. That's it. That's my action done. Right. Um, now there is a little bit of player interaction on the main board that we've not seen yet. And that is when you arrive at a location or at an action space where somebody else already is. If you've come in from the same direction, you have a choice. You can either stay where you are, but you have to pay the other player one coin or one scroll. Or as we learned this afternoon, this is really good. You can skip past them and basically get a free movement point and go on somewhere else. That was happening quite a lot this afternoon in a four-player game. It might happen today in a three-player game, or it might not. We will see. Yeah, I'm going to move here. Okay. Um, because of my advantage, I think I get a free... Um, That's conk. on the circular space. Yes. Is, is, yeah. it? So this is the this is the manufactory. So it's, yeah. it's here. So you're spending three coins yeah. to gain two corks. Yep. and a piece of equipment but your special ability means mm -hmm. you get three corks so i'll spend three coins three coins for three corks, three corks and would you like the staff the hat or the cloak so i'll take the hat please take the hat so that's yep. a permanent ability whenever you arrive at that location yeah there you go have a hat yep. ralph is saying why didn't you take a blue gin uh does he mean me Sorry, yes, I meant to take blue. Thank you. Do you mind if I undo that? No. I saw, I saw the white. I did mean to take blue. And I could have put it straight in the bottle, which I would have done. I don't know why I took white. I think it's because I was collecting white in the last game. Yeah, right. apologies for that. I did mean to take blue. <laughs> did you have those bottles at the time? I did. Well, it doesn't matter. I've had those bottles reaction. since... It doesn't matter if you do it as a pre -action Yeah, process. yeah. It's irrelevant. I've got... Um no not enough power to take a gin and i've got zero power so. right so what happens is rob is at a location where there is gin so he must try and capture them if he can or if he doesn't want to or he can't the penalty is you lose one magic power now he doesn't have any magic power so there's no penalty that's fine you're not forced to do it by spending other stuff in fact even if you've got the four power you are not forced to do it you just you just lose a power okay right other where are you? You're current. Yeah, I'm a bit torn at the moment because I can see an argument for going to the archive and I can see an argument for going to the men. Uh, if you the... go here, you could do that. Yeah, I know, yeah. If that helps. So, three choices. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can get one thing from here. Yeah. Or I which could be another secret passage. One thing from there, which would be quite good. Um, yeah, or I can do one of these, the weaker option oh, no, I can't sort of go mad uh, or I could do that um, and I kind of had set up to do that so perhaps I should do that so that then mm. so you're going to go to this location yeah but instead of using the so upper use market you're going to use your secret passage to visit the dragon yeah. goblet tavern yeah and it's the weaker action, so I can it only is. take one of these. Yep. All done. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to go over here to the manufactory, and I am going to spend two coins 
to take a cork and I'm going to take a hat but because of my negative ability I get a random one from the bottom of the deck so I've got that one now there is a benefit once you've got all three pieces of equipment there is a benefit to doing that so yeah Brian is asking you move one spot until it unless it's occupied I, absolutely right you can only ever move one space but if the space that you move to the exact space is occupied you can then leapfrog them and move extra or you can pay them to stay where you are and you might see that happening now you might not well, I'm, I'm going to go into the center. Oh, Rob's going to the center. Excellent. Right. Well, okay. Yes. So the center space. Uh, the center space is divided into two rows. You've got the top row and you've got the bottom row. The top row is you can either recharge your magic power to the max, or you can spend any any. You can do this any number of times. You spend six power to capture an extra boss gin. And that's what the extra six that are included in the game are for. So the game actually comes with 12 of these. Six of them start off on the board. But these extra ones, including this one that's hiding, uh, you capture these by going here and spending any amount of power. But for, for every six power you spend, you can capture a boss gin. The bottom line requires you to spend scrolls. And if you spend a certain number of scrolls, you can take either a bottle or a cork, or you can um, reactivate two of your assistants. Now, how many scrolls it costs depends on the position of your capacity marker. So at the moment, my capacity marker is here. That means my exchange rate is four. So it would cost me four scrolls to do any of those bottom things. So, well, what would you like to do? I'm guessing recharge your yeah. magic power yeah, to the max. Can do at the moment. And yeah. you can't do any of the others no. at the moment. Right. Okay, but from there you could branch out to other spaces. You've got some options, yeah. Mm. Right, Arthur. Well, just remind me, yeah. uh, this activate up to two major cards. That's for either of these. Either of these, yeah. yeah. Okay, another question. The middle equipment item. What is that? Do? This one. I can't figure out the icon. So this is a one-off. You yeah. gain a blue bottle. Okay. It's it's that. It's a. Yeah, and then you flip the card over to show that yeah. you've used it, but it, it still counts as a piece of equipment. Pity it's not a white bottle. Nevertheless, I might do that. My alternative is to go to their chest and see if I can pick up some goodies. Goodies, because I don't think I can deal with these gin. Mind you, I probably can't even if um. Still a bank. We should go to the uh, manufacturing. Manufacturing of magical items. But and which... it's a circular space. Yeah. So yeah. Now. The other thing that I want to mention is that even if you're on the circular space, you can choose to do the lower one if you want to. And I haven't mentioned this yet, but you can actually choose not to do any of the actions. So this is the player aid that comes with the game. If once you've arrived at a location, you don't want to do the actions at all, you can just say, I'm not going to do anything. And instead you get either two coins, two magic power or one coin and one magic power. Now, we actually did this a few times in the previous game. I think, Arthur, you did it a couple of times. I did, yeah. So, yeah, when you go to a location, you don't have to do the action and you get something instead. Actually, I can do with the gin. Right, so um, what I will do is I will spend three. Three money for two corks. Two corks, because you always and need corks. Which one of these would you like? Um, I think I would like the persistent effect. So the staff. Yeah. There you go. Okay, now, um, gin time. Yes. I have two power. You do. I have this thing that give me another power. Mm -hmm. And the key is wild. So you can I use a key as a power. Do all of that. So you've got four. Yeah. Uh, Which one are you capturing? Good question. I think I will go for an orange one. Okay, there you go. So all of your magic circles are full. They are. You're going to need to get yourself some bottles. I do. Right, my go. Um, I only have one coin. The market is. Oh, actually, the market's okay. Yeah, I'm going to go to the market. 
because at the market I can move to here. I can spend a scroll and get five coins because I'm a little bit short on money. And then because it's a circular space, I get to move again and I can do something else. So I'm going to move back to here and I'm going to spend two of that money to buy a blue bottle. And I'm looking at what's on the board. I am actually going to take another white one. And then I encounter these gin, but I have no magic power and my mage has decided that they're having a lie down. So I can't combat them, which means I lose a power, but I haven't got power. So that's my good up. Right. Um, I'm going to go here. Yep. Um, but I'm going to encounter the gin first. Yep. So um, you can do those two actions in any order. And you have four power. So I spend the four. And I gain a brown gin. Yep. Thank you. Now remember, you can try and take on the boss. If you take on the boss, the magic power that you need is four plus two for every other gin that's there. But when you do capture the boss, you capture one of the little ones as well. So right now at this location, there's only two gin, the boss and an orange one. And it would be six power to capture the boss and you would get the orange one for free. And the other thing to mention is whenever the boss is on their own at a location, they run away. And that's them gone from the game. And once all six are removed from the board, that's triggering the end of the game. Right, so I, I had two treasure chests. You've got two treasure chests. Do you have any keys? No. No, so it's just two scrolls. Okay. And two money. Two, all right, yeah. I should have tried to get some keys earlier. Never mind. Can't do everything. You no, know, can't do everything. <laughs> uh, Monica is asking, is this a board in three parts? So the board, the main board is a normal fold board, but this section here is a cutout piece, which I can try and take out. No, I can't take out. So this is a cutout piece that you flip over. It's a, if it's a two player game, uh, there are slots here for the chests to fit in. Uh, and there is space up there for things to be placed later on in the game, which we might see, we might not. And as you mentioned before, these and, and these these are these these are removable. All of these circles and squares are removable and you randomize them for each game. Right. It is time to go to the Academy of Magical Arts. That way? That's right. <laughs> so and uh, I am necessarily doing the weak action. Yep. So I get a scroll. Yeah, scroll. And how much of your three power do you want to forego? Uh, just I'll oh, forego two. Yeah. So, so you get to refresh get to two of your two activate two of your mages. That's very good. It is. Right. So I need to be doing something. And I'm gonna go here. Now whenever I go to this location, I gain a magic power. And it is the archives. So what am I gonna do? at the archives um i'm thinking i might want to place a secret passage on the board hmm. yeah so i'm going to place a secret passage to the archives and i'm going to put it there so that's it i went there i did that well done Okay, um, yeah, so I'm going to go to this market space. Um, James has asked a good question. What happens if you capture a boss, you get the other gin, but you've only got space for one? And Ralph is saying that the gin remain in the village. So you, you only take the gin that you can. You don't take them and then throw them away. They actually stay there. Yeah, thematically that makes sense. Yeah. It? Go here. One scroll. Or a cork and a bottle. What yep. bottle would you like? I uh, would like a brown one, please. Brown bottle. Thank you. And I can immediately. You can yeah. immediately put the gin into the bottle with a cork. There's no reason for me not to do that. There's no reason at all for you not to do it. It's, it's worth more points when it's in a bottle. Yeah. And that, that's me done. Okay, Arthur. Yes. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess. Which will head to the archives. Mm -hmm. And at the archives... You get to do two of those actions. Yeah. They've got to be different. But before that... I'll deal with the... I'll oh. restore them, have I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have nowhere to store them. Yeah. 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 That is a problem. Yeah, you're you're gonna lose the power. I could have went there and I'd have done the same, 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 yeah. same event with him. So I'll lose a power. So you're going to take on the djinn, and although he could, he's nowhere to store them. Therefore, he cannot, so he loses one power. Yeah. Then I get to do two things different. Yeah. Um, I shall place a... Another secret passage. So again, when placing a secret passage, the icon on the tile must be different from every other icon already at that space. So you can't match the space itself, and you also cannot match anybody else's secret passage. And the second thing I will do is... Oh, I could activate a... Hmm. Or I could activate the other thing. You could activate the other magic circle, oh, yeah, which so means you could then capture yeah, the okay, thing. So let's, let's, sorry about that. Do you mind if I reverse that? No, it's all right. Right, so the other thing I'll do is that, which now yeah, is to activate. Which flips that yes, over, which yes. increases your capacity by one. And in fact, it gives me a power anyway. Does it? Yeah, that's what it says on the... No. No, it's just increase your capacity by yeah. one. Yeah, oh, it's, capacity, a, it's a green arrow yeah, to okay, the right. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So that goes that one. Yeah. yeah. Got it wrong. Okay. But now... I can flip that and flip that. Flip that, and, spend and, that, that. and spend the one, and you now do have the capacity, the capacity to and you've got the space. An orange. There you go. Right. Again, those two actions can be done in, in either order. I maxed out... Actually done. Gin. Yeah. Right. So I'm mm. going to go for a wander to here because I've gone to this location. I get a coin, and it's oh, it's a circular. Oh, it's a circular tavern. So I can take any of these ones. Oh, well, that that changes everything. <laughs> really does change everything. So I'm going to take this one and these bottom ones, they come with a key. All right. And now that I've taken that one, I can now combat the gin, and I'm going to spend the coin to use this mage to give me two plus one for blue plus one of my own. I've captured a blue gin, which I put straight in a bottle and I put a cork in the bottle. Right. We get to explain trophies. So as soon as you have three bottles of the same color that have gin inside and master gin or bosses, uh, they can go in any colored bottle. So I've got three blue ones. What happens is I discard these. These go from the game. Now, I do want to check with Ralph. Do these through, do these blue gin go back in the bag or do they go out of the game? Quick question for you, Ralph. But what happens is I now get one of the trophies. So this is the trophy area of the board. Ralph is saying back in the bag. Okay, so you can pop them back in the bag. Thank you. So what we've got here is we've got three tiers of trophies, tier one, tier two, tier three. We've got three trophy tiles because it's a three player game. So what we've done is we've shuffled these trophy tiles and we've picked three at random. What happens is this is the first set that I've completed, which means I get a tier one trophy tile. The next set that I complete I get one from here and the net and the third set that I complete I get one from here now these tiles have got an immediate bonus on them and then you flip them over and you'll see that they're actually worth 30 points which is exactly the same as what three gin in bottles are worth so you're not losing any points by getting rid of your gin in bottles uh, but you are going to get the bonus so do I want three money and a cork two scrolls and a bottle or three money and a mage now i think i'm going to take a mage because you can take a mage with a key i have asked and that was the answer so i think i'm going to take this bottom one so i get this and it actually goes face down here so i get three coins three and i get a mage with a key so i'm going to take this one and it comes with a key pop pop and that's it. That's my go done. What did I do? I did. Oh, I got one. I then used that one to capture another one. And then I got one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ralph is saying four trophies per row. Oh, it's one more than the player count. Oh, thank you. I got that wrong. Right. We need four trophies. 
So I'm just going to squeeze in an extra trophy. So there's a three. There's a one. There's a two. So while we're here, while we're talking about trophies, let me just talk about these three end game scoring tiles. Remember, these are for the advanced version of the game. And these will be resolved at the end of the game, but it gives us all objectives to go for. So this one, this is a really interesting one because increasing your capacity in the game is normally a good thing. But this card is saying that if if you've increased your capacity uh, up to six, but not beyond six, you're going to get eight points at the end of the game. This one is for having uh, active mages. So mages that you have hired, as long as the door is open and they are available to you, you get two points for each one to a maximum of eight. And this one is for equipment of the same type. So you've seen me, I've taken a hat and I've taken a cloak, but you can actually take multiple equipment of the same type. You can't wear more than one. But what you do is you just place the card on top of the, the next one. So if you've, if you've taken three staffs by the end of the game, you get five points, three hats, five points, and three cloaks, five points. So this is a maximum of 15. So these are our end game scoring cards, which were chosen out of this many. So there's quite a lot of these cards. No, sorry, they're the solo cards. Where's the end game scoring cards? Okay, there are. Uh, let me just check. No, you're not. There are 10 of them. So there are 10 of them included in the game and you pick three of them. We seem to have misplaced the other seven, but they are there somewhere. Right, Rob. Mm. So I can either get more corks, which I don't really need at the moment, or I can get a mage. Corks are worth one point at the end of the game each. Right. That's um, a way off, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a way off. But and Can I choose to take the mm -hmm. lesser action? You can. Yep. Because it costs me less money. But if you do, yeah. you don't get your bonus. Right. Ah, oh, but this, okay. It's because it's, it's, use, use it's circular. circular. Yeah. yeah. Right, so I'd better use the better one. Or take a mage. I'll go that way. I think I, I'm, I'll take a mage. Yeah. So I'm just going to zoom in on the main board here. So Rob has arrived at the same action space where I already am. However, he's coming in from a different side. So he doesn't have to pay me anything. He can go there and use it. If he'd have come in from the same side as me, he could have either paid me one coin or one scroll to do the action or he could have had a free movement on somewhere else, which you've not seen actually that happen in this game. But Yes, so um, I get to take a good mage. You do? Uh, which one would you like? the one on the right, please. This one? Yeah. And you get a key. I get a key, yeah. There you go. Thank you. And um, then are you going to fight these gin? Well, I can actually do it now because I've got a key which I can convert into magic power. Yeah, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to. No. And you won't lose anything if you don't because you don't have any magic power. No. Um, You're right. You could. I'm just wondering because... Fact, can you? So I, I can spend the key to get a magic power. Yeah. Uh, but I can't do it because I've no, got the right colours. No, not yep, the right colours. Right. Yeah, so I can't do it. So you can't do it. So you would lose one magic power, but you oh, can't. Because so I yeah. haven't got any. Right. So, yeah. Okay. That's that then. Where's Arthur going? Onward to the manufactory. Mm -hmm. But I don't use... You're the... going to use your secret passage to yeah. go to the secret catacombs? Yeah. So it is a chest. Yeah. And it is two money. Thank you, God. And... <laughs> An orange bottle. An orange stoppered gin. There you go. Got him. Got him. <laughs> He's been gotted. Right, my go. So I know what I need to do. I want a staff. Where am I? Yeah, no. I'm going this way and we're going here. And there is a book there. So this special ability that I've got triggers whenever I arrive at a location with I, a book, whether I, it be my action space or my secret passage. I've forgotten something. What have you forgotten? I think because I activated the secret, um, so whatever it's called, the... Um, secret catacombs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, same as me. Yeah, yeah. You, you arrived at a location that yeah. had that icon, yeah. so you yeah. get... Yeah. I'm, I'm the same. I've arrived at a location with my book icon, even though it's a secret passage to a book icon, uh, I gain the magic power. I don't have to do the book icon, but I think I'm going to. Yeah, I think I'm going to. So I'm going to use the archives and I am going to place another secret passage 
and I'm going to place a secret passage to oh see I can't put that there because you've already got one there I can't put it there because it matches that I am going to put that one yeah okay I'm going to put that one there okay so I went there got my bonus did the thing that's my go done okay um yep so I would get a magic power by going there Oh, but I'm going to jump over. Yeah, you we're in that situation. So yep. Rob is going along this path to here. Yep. I'm already there, so he could pay me to do the action, or you get a free here. movement on. Yeah, go here. So you're now there, facing that way, and you get to do this action instead. Yeah. Nice. So I could spend three money. Three money. Yep. Three for you. It's three corks because three of your corks. special ability. And yep. so I'll take the one with the brown bottle on it. Uh, the staff stuff yeah. yeah okay um, yeah. so that goes there and you want to use it straight away yes you might as well yes. so we get brown bottle and that which you can put another gin in right <clears throat> nice yeah. and i can then take the gin on you can and this time i've got um, you can do it i can do it i have to spend a key to do it and a coin you don't have a coin. a coin oh, okay ah. oh well that was a mistake then <laughs> So close. So I could have been sick on here. Um, it wouldn't have made much. And I could have taken money in order to pay for that. If you see what I mean? Yeah. Rather than taking the three. Do you mind if I undo that? We can undo it. Get my one undo. So <laughs> we're um, going to put the three corks back. Yeah. And I we're going to take three money We're going to take your yep. brown bottle back. Yeah. We're going to take the staff back. Yeah. Sorry about He's that. He's got the time stone. <laughs> yeah. My... Uh, but but it's much better. I think. So instead of going there, go here. you're going there. Yeah. Right. So then. So which of these five actions are you going to do? So I'll take. Um, well, I think I can assault the gin first, can't I? You can. Uh, which involves paying. But um, is there any way I can get pa because I want to avoid using the key because keys are quite don't, valuable. I don't know if you can. You've only right. got three power. Okay, so I'll spend the money. Spend the money. Two power and a brown. So that's three. That's one for brown. Yeah. And then the key is an extra one. The key is a power. So that's yeah. so that's that. Yeah. Sorry. And Sorry. then you've got the action of the space, which is actually two of these. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I will uh, firstly do this one, which is to flip over a... Which gets you two power. Which gets me two power. So if yeah. you did that first, yeah. you I would keep have, the key. I would keep the key, yeah. So that's better, isn't it? For sure. Yeah, I think so. Um, and I get one other thing to do. Yep. Uh, yep. So I quite like these tunnel things, but I think I'm going to flip a mage to reactivate it, which is that one, isn't it? So you can't flip that one oh. because you have to do all of this action and then the other oh, action. So because you've yeah. done this action first, you're right, and you've done that. Yes. Sorry, yeah. that mage is actually still the wrong acting order. at this moment in time. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so I'll do I'll do this one. Yep, yeah. you place the secret really... passage, and then you do the encounter in the gym. Yeah, as your second yeah. action. So I would have placed the passage first. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then because this boss is on his own, is there on yeah. his own. Yeah, he runs away. Yeah, and that's one goal. All right. Let's now, go. Whenever a boss runs away. We populate that space with new gin from the bag, which in a three-player game is two of them. So we don't get another boss, but these are just extra ones sniffing around mm -hmm. to repopulate the board a little bit. Thanks for allowing me to rewind. All right. Right, we're going to head for the Magical Arts Academy. Yep. We are here again. Gin first or afterwards? Afterwards. Right. Okay, it's the circular space. Yeah. So I get a scroll. You get a scroll. And I get to forego two of these. Okay, so you gain one magic power and you refresh two of your assistants. Again, that's Arthur's special ability that he can do. Then I will capture a gin. Well, this is, this is interesting. 
you do get to do this if you want to. Yeah, yeah. But if you do, oh, is it optional? You, it's all optional. I disqualify myself from. You're not going to get the eight points at the end of the game. Ah, oh, I did wonder that. Um, but there is a benefit to moving your capacity yeah, yeah, marker yeah, 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 yeah. up. I'll, I'll, I'll forego it. You're going to forego it. Okay. okay, right. Interesting. Um, yeah, so gin fighting. I yep. have two. Two for free. Two for free, as yep. it were. Can't spend two of my own for capture the white one. Should that be up by one, Rob? Yes, because I've looked that. No, no that's that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. All full. Your magic circles are full of gin. Again. again. <laughs> yeah. Now, interesting. So I could now go there and leapfrog you. But I don't want to do that because I'm skipping over a circular space to get to a square. So I'm, I'm just going to go here and we're going to go to the manufactory of magical items. And I am going to spend three coins. So things are going to happen here. First of all, I get two corks, but I'm going to get a staff. And because of my negative ability, I get a random staff from the bottom. But what's now happened is I've got a full set of equipment. So what happens is as soon as you've got a full set of equipment, as you can see here, this moves to there. Now, whenever it moves up, you gain two power. But what this means is at the start of each of my turns, if I have zero power, I gain one. So it effectively acts like a, a recharging thing. There's another way you can move this to the right as well. And that is when you've placed all four of your secret passages, as you can see here, as soon as all four of your secret passages are out, that moves to the right again. So the maximum you can get is two free power at the end, at the start of each of your turns. And that gives me the ability whenever I go to that type of space. So that's it. That's my go done. Good. Um, I'm going to go to here. And I can use... Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, use this version mm -hmm. because I've got a secret passage. Yeah. So um, you're going to do this action. Yeah. And I have to do the lesser version of it because I haven't got enough money yep. for the better so version. one cork. Let's use my key. And what would you like? Uh, would, would like you like the staff that you yes, were? Yeah, okay. Yep. So you take the staff, you flip it over. Yeah, and I get a brown You get bottle. the brown bottle and you put the gin in it. Yeah, with the stopper. Yep. Good. And there's no gin there, so that's it. Are you done? Yep. Right, time to go to the tavern and celebrate. Right. Didn't, didn't you come from that direction? I came from, so you came from that direction. Distance. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so I can do a lesser so it's a square space, action. so you can get one of those two. One of those wonderful, wonderful, wonderful mages. Mm. Yeah, they, <laughs> they didn't really do me much good, but um, uh, I guess it makes slightly more sense to pick up this guy. Is there a limit on the number of mages? I don't believe there's a limit on how many mages you can have. Let me just double check that. Uh, doesn't say. Doesn't say there's a limit, so I don't think there's a limit. Ralph says no limit. Right, where am I going to go? Don't want to go to the centre. I need to be reactivating these mages, and I can't... There's a way of doing it there, but we don't have your special ability. Oh, you can do it here as well. There's quite good. Yeah, I saw that. Did I not do a mage thing last turn? Did I not do a... You did a lot of stuff last time. Yeah, you? I did. I got my thing, and I got my thing. I think you said something like you got a mage, which allowed you to get another mage. Or... No, that was ages ago. I think I forgot to do this last turn. Yeah, apologies for that. We should do that now, because I did have three power. Yeah, I should have done that last turn. So, slight rewind to my last turn, because I should have had to do something here. Um, so I will... And it will be one, two, three, because I'm going to go for brown, four. So that was last turn. Right. This turn, um, I don't know what I want to do now. I think I'm going to go along here. 
So I'm going to go to this location. Now, this is interesting because it's a chest and it's a, a grail, it's a goblet. So I get both a coin and another coin for my equipment. These are nice, these. I'll keep these. Um, now, for the action, I could do the secret catacombs or we could get one of these. And because mages are worth two points, mage cards, activated mage cards are worth two points at the end of the game. That seems quite good. But I'm actually going to have a chest. Because I've got a key, hmm. I'm going to have a chest and we'll see what it is. So it's two coins. And if I want to, I can spend a key to get a hat. Never have enough hats. Well, the thing is, if I get three hats... As we all know in life, three hats is five points. Mm. Do I want to spend a key for a second hat? Ah. No, I'm going to say no. Because reasons. I go? Yeah. So I think I can go here. You can. And this gets me the Academy of Magical Arts. Bonus. Well, first of all, you've arrived at that oh, location, yeah. so you gain yep. a magic power. Yep. But yes, you can do you do this. Yep. So capacity up by one. Okay. I can't I can't choose to do that later. It's uh, when you move to the location. Because okay. I'm gonna be Oh but but I can the order in which I do this means that this goes up four right? yes. the power, so it's yep. not a waste of power. Yep. So that goes up by one. Yeah. You gain a scroll. Yeah. And you gain three power. Yeah. There you go, you got loads. Got power. Um not enough to take out or I could take down the gin. So the boss is six. Yeah. You could take out the boss. Yeah. So I, Which yeah. means you'd get that one for free. I think I'll do that. So that's I'll pretty good, isn't it? The key. So five of your own power, five power and the key. Yeah. So the boss, just to remind you, is four plus two for every gin that's there. So he gets the boss, yeah. and whenever you get the boss, you get another gym with it. Yeah. Uh, Ralph is saying you can choose to get the reward for an equipment card at the end of the turn. Oh, if it suits you better. Okay, right. So these equipment right. cards, it's okay. whenever on your turn. Thank you for that. So two of the six have gone. Right. Well, because he's gone, they're replaced by two, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. And this one is almost gone, this one's almost gone, and this one's almost yeah, gone. It's, all, it's, it's not a long game, this, is it? very yeah. perilous. Well, now we know what we're doing. So, yeah. Sort of. You done, Rob? I think I am. It's very much an efficiency game of yeah, how yeah, much yeah. are you going to be able to get done. So, so speaking of efficiency, let yeah. me do an inefficient turn. <laughs> I feel very efficient, to be fair. I've gone to the market. Yep, yeah, it's the supermarket. I choose market. to fight the gin. Oh dear, I've got no power. So you lose the power? Oh dear, I've got no power. Okay. Um, I presume I'm not forced to generate power to lose it. No. Uh, then I will do... is a strong market. It is, so you get to do, move your assistant things. twice. Where do you want to go first? The first place I want to go, I... Ooh, ah. I need some bottles and I need some stoppers. So, there's one coin for a cork. Yeah, but I need two coins for bottles. So, what can you get for a scroll? You can... Oh, I can Five coins. The it's very good. Exceptionally lovely. Yeah. If I do that, I won't get. Oh, then then you could come here to buy some bottles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I could even get three. Uh, yeah, okay. So we'll do that. So I will go to there. You go there first. Spend a scroll. I will scroll for five coins. Money, and then I'll go to the other place. So you have to pay me either a scroll or a coin. I'll pay you. A scroll. Um, and I'll spend four money on three bottles. Three so. different bottles. Okay. So I'll have a white one, a white one, an orange one, an orange one, and what are you guys collecting? White. Well, I've got two white bottles. I haven't got any white gins. And a brown one, I guess. And because we just pop your bottles short sure. here. Just because that's slightly right. off camera. So, because I've got an orange gin. Yep. Other way around. Put it in there. Yep. 
Um, now, do I? Oh, I haven't got enough to port anyway, so next level. So I was, I was just wondering if I had capacity, would I be forced to put uh, Jim in? You don't have to, but there's no reason not to if you've got the cork. Well, there is like sort of a reason. But anyway, okay, there's not a word to touch. You all done? Hmm. You did the two actions. You didn't. You tried to fight the gym, but failed. Yep. Right. Now again, I could go here and skip along from where Rob is. But actually, oh, it's tricky. Very tricky, because I'm one short of. The problem is, is the colours. Okay, so. Yeah, should have used the key. Right, I'm going to go here. Fall over. Um, I am going to choose to do the action first. I am going to place a secret passage. And I'm going to put a secret passage here. So I haven't placed all of my secret passages yet, but that's that. And then I'll get to do it twice, don't I? But you can't do the same action. Can't do the same action twice, but I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to flip that over, which gets me two power. And then we take on the gin. I lose four power. And oh my. These colours. Gonna take an orange one. Yeah, I've bought the wrong bottles. Um I think that's it. And then at the start of my next turn, I am gonna recharge to one. Go here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this gives me a mage. It's a mage, yep. A basic mage. I think I'll take one that doesn't cost any this one? money. Yep. Thank the furry you. thing. Thank you. Arthur. So just to clarify, I think the answer is no, but I, I can't go here and jump rock because he's on the other You're end. here facing that way. Oh, oh yeah, that reason as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you were facing that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. I still wouldn't do it, right? No. Okay. Um, so the obvious choices are I can go to the archive. You can go here. Or you can go here. Or I can, go here, or I can kind of go to the chest. And it would be good to go here because I will get stopper. Going that way? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so because you've arrived at a location with the chest icon, mm -hmm. you get a magic power. Oh, I do have one, I don't. Incoming. And then you're going to do this? Yeah, I think I'll do this this time. It's weaker action, so I can spend two money. Two coins for a cork. And what would you like? So this is a, this is a card we've not seen before. It is get rid of a bottle and change it for two bottles. Love it. Love it lots. I'm doing that. Give you, give you, one you want that stuff? <laughs> exactly what you need. No, not yeah. the same so again. I use this immediately and it, it covers up that, doesn't it? It, it, it does. Yeah, it covers and it then, over and which I, means and you no I longer get the old ability. And then I have to, well, it's a one-off use. It's a one-off. You don't have to use it immediately. No, no, I'm going to use it. Sorry. Okay. So I will discard a brown bottle. You may trade up to two empty bottles for one empty bottle each of your choice. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on a minute. One Sorry. times. It's not one for two. No, it's one for one. It's one for one yeah. twice. Not as good, but nevertheless. So, uh, Paul and Arthur, you could both use the staff card from the display. Say what? I don't know. I, I think he might mean this one. I think he's helping me because I've got bottles that I don't yeah, want. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. All right, so I'm discarding the brown bottle. Yeah. Uh, I'll have a white bottle in exchange, please. Okay. And while I'm at it, I'm going to stick a gin in there. Yeah. Like that cork. And that was everything, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, now that I've seen this, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Right, my go. Where am I? I'm there, facing that yeah, way. One, one bottle for two would have been a complete no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting, because that's gain a bottle. But yeah, one for two would be too good, wouldn't it? Um, Have I only got one piece of equipment of each type? I do. It's more than everyone else has got. 
Indeed. So, start of my turn. I recharge one energy because of this. Well, it's more like your bottom line energy is that, isn't it? I yeah. Mean, if you start with your next turn, you're not going to go up another one. No. That, yeah, no. Okay, yeah. So that's space space. I'm going to move to here. And I'm going to activate that ability, which gets me magic power. I am then going to use my secret passage to visit the archives to place my final secret passage marker, which I'm going to put here. And now, because I have placed all of my secret passage markers, two things happen. The first thing is I move this marker along another one and I gain two more power. And then what I do is we unslot this from here. We actually place it all the way up here and it goes in there. Now, what that means is from now on, whenever I am choosing any of these instead of these, I get these. So I get I get better versions of these actions when I go to the archives. Very good. So that's what that means. And that's it. That's my go done. I've got super mana regen now. So what is this of any use now? Well, you get a key. You, it, it's that think... and a key. So for me, it is because I've still got one of my magic yeah, circles. Okay. If you did it, you'd just, just get, get the key. key. Mm. Okay, well, I suppose I'm doing that one. <laughs> I'm going to go to the market. Yep. Um, it's a circular market, so you get to do it twice. Yeah. So I'll go to the scroll exchange first and I'll. So one scroll for five coins. Yep. Coins. There you go. And then where are you going to go next? Well, I was thinking of going here, but you're going to have to pay, pay both me and Arthur to go here. Or I could... If you need a bottle, you could just go back here. But I need, like, three bottles. Oh, right. <laughs> or at least two. True. Nice. True, yeah. Um, I think, actually, if I go here, I can get a bottle there by taking that. Um yes so i'll go back here okay you spend a scroll you spend a scroll to gain a brown bottle yeah and a cork and the cork but my last brown genie in there. yeah and then you get rid of those get rid of those so those go back in the bag go back to the supply and i'll take this one yeah which is two scrolls two scrolls don't really need scrolls and a bottle but the bottle's nice what would you like uh, I'll take a, a blue one, please. And then that flips over, and there's your yeah. 30 end of game points. Yeah. Um, might as well. It's better to put this in first, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So where did you go? You did that. Yeah. You did that twice. You did all of that. You did yeah. all of that. But I'm not doing any genie fighting. No. Oh, you're not? Because I don't have any. So you lose power. power. Which you can't do. Yeah. Great. Back yeah. to the Magical Arts Academy. I will initially um, fight, maybe. Fight. No. no. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, no, I'll do the action first. So um, I can do a increased strength action. Oh, that's pretty academic. So I'll, I'll take the scroll, I'll take the three power. Yeah. Are you I'll using any of that yeah, power to. Yeah, yeah. I'll forego. Two power. Yeah. To switch that. That's where I'm coming on stuck. I'm not reactivating my mages. And that. And then then we will fight. Okay. So which one? I mean you can take both. You've not we've not seen that yet, but you can potentially it's fight true, both actually. if you I'm had eight can, power. I'll try I can generate that. One, two, three. I've not got enough money to generate more than that. So there's an orange. Uh yes, but it's cash is the problem. Oh right, okay. Yeah, so so pretty much I have to use these two, which generate three power and one of my own power. Yep. Yeah. I'm guessing the orange one. Uh, you guessed correctly. You're done. You're all done? Right, so. He's not buying damage, I'll be staying. I was going to go here. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to do the action of the location first. I don't get any bonuses for going there, but I'm going to spend. Three coins to get two corks. Oh, I don't choose. I... 
I was going to take that, but I can't choose that. I have to get one from the bottom of a stack. <laughs> well, that's, that, that's rubbish. That is excellent news, can I just say? Because you wanted that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe I don't know. Oh, it helps us. Well, I did the third one. So. I'm going to take a random hat. I'm going to go to the shop with my eyes closed and say, "I'll have that one." Oh, they're all good. So it's not. A... Yeah, but I wanted one that gave me a bottle. That gives you. Uh... Oh, this is interesting. That loses you eight points. It's going to lose me eight points. That's fantastic. <laughs> if, if I use it, I could just yeah. not use it. Yeah. This is a really interesting card because yeah. we all don't want to increase our capacity. No, that's right. Eight points is a lot. Eight points is a lot. Ten percent of last game scores. I mean, the benefit of increasing your capacity is you can store more mana. Mm. But eight points is eight points, indeed. Okay, so I'm going to take a new hat, which goes over the old one, but I'm not going to use it. And now we're going to fight a gin. The, see, the thing is, I had something clever here. I was going to take the boss, and I was going to get the blue. No, 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 no. I am going to do it. I am going to use it, screw it, I'm going to flip it over, I'm going to flip that over, that increases my capacity to 7, okay, then, I've only got 4, can't add up, it's fine, I'm going to spend 2 keys and 4 magic power, for 6, to take the boss and the blue one, right, Ralph is saying you can put the hat under the other hat and use the previous one. Oh, right. Okay. I didn't realize. I thought it went on top. But that's fine. I've, I've decided to use it anyway. Thank you, Ralph, for that. I thought it had to go on top. That's my misunderstanding. It says when you choose an equipment card of a type for which you already have, you flip one of the two cards without using it and put the second one face up on top of the first. Right, okay, so that means you can choose out of the mm. two things which one you wanted. Right, thank you for that clarification. Um, oh, this is tricky. Mm. Every turn is tricky. Yeah, could do that. But give me anything useful. So this does nothing if you don't have any flasks. Correct. But remember, you can keep this mm. and use it if you do get some. Right. It's mainly of benefits to somebody like me who's bought the wrong bottles. Hmm. Trouble is, I've Although I, I can now put that in there, but that means it's a white bottle and I might not want to. Hmm. Right, I have a new plan. I have. Oh, yes, I can go that way. Go here. Scissors action. Um, I spend three monies. Um, Down here at the manufacturer? Oh, oh, sorry. It's only two monies. It's only so two money, yeah. yeah. I'll spend two money. Two money for a cork. A cork. And what would you like? I would like the bottom one, please. Good luck. Yes, please. Do you want to use it? Not really, thanks. Might as well. Oh, well, there's no point in not using it, Correct. is Because You get two scrolls. Yeah. And you now have a full set of equipment. Yeah. I don't see the need for all these scrolls. So um, that goes yeah. up by one, and yeah. you gain two magic power. Yeah. Okay. I dream of having a complete outfit. <laughs> You've got a staff. <laughs> so Arthur's staffs. walking around naked with two, two staffs. <laughs> I think I want to go to the again sadly okay weak tavern weak uh of the two available i guess i'll take this one mm. oh now interesting so this location has a chest oh it doesn't have my secret passage yeah so the question was if i had this no, it's got to be your own secret passage own, or right? the actual action space itself okay that was a question worth asking. Yep. Yeah. That's me done. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to get a coin. Now, do I want to go to the Dragon Goblet? Is that the tavern? Yeah, that is the tavern. So I could go to the tavern. 
And I think, uh, what is it I'm short of? It's, it's, it's bottles. Bottles is what I'm short of. Mm. I'm sadly short of corks and bottles. I mean, I have five money. I could go and hire. It's quite good. That's a very, very good mage. That's in the wrong pile. I'm just going to move that to, to there. I was thinking, I was looking at it thinking that's very, very good. And it's because it had a key mm. on it. Mm. Um, oh, dear. I'm going to take a chest. Ah, two coins. It's so not what I needed, ugly, isn't it? Yeah, going here without a key is just a bit, a bit weak, I think. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going out here. Oh, uh, I should have two pound. It's not my turn. Uh, so that's the double book. It is super book. One action is to flip a mage. Yep. Okay. Um. And the other action mm, interesting. So that loses me eight points if I do that. Mm, I'm not that's sure. <laughs> um, I'm not sure whether it was the right thing to do, but I think I'll put another one of these down. Oops, weird. Secret passage and then I'm going to You've got the ability to capture that gin if you want it. I need to pay your money though to do it. Um, so I spend two power. Yep. And I think you only need to spend one power. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's blue. It's you get, you get yeah. a plus one for the blue. You're right. It's slow today. And that is yours. Thank you. And this gets flipped. Yeah. Well, I was about to go there and capture that one. Yeah. I Although, I, yeah. A risk of that because there's not there's only one leader left on the board now mm -hmm. that's that's my turn i think market um i will well do you want to go first afterwards. okay and i'm desperately short of money so i'll spend a scroll for five scroll minutes. for five money and then where do you want to go? Well, I am desperately short of um, various things, but uh, flasks. Back here? Yeah. Okay, what are you going to give me? Coin or a scroll? <laughs> what a scroll was used for? I have to do that as well. Hmm, interesting. I'll give you a scroll. Mm -hmm. Um. And how much money do you want to spend? I don't know. That would be most efficient. I need to activate these as well this turn, so Oop. um I've got one colour I can't find. I can find the blue or the white. It doesn't actually make functionally much difference. So if I could find the white spend that side, so that'll give me that give me three power. I've got one. So I would only need to retain two money. So if I spent four money, so I'd spend only... four for three different coloured bottles. Yeah. I really need a white one and an orange one. Yeah, I'll, I'll just spend the two, I think. Okay. So a white and an orange bottle. And then are you fighting? Yes. Um, so I'll spend two to activate this mage, which gives me effectively three. Three if you're fighting if the white fight one. The white, that makes four. It is defeated. There you go. You need corks. Yeah, well, I needed <laughs> bottles. Now I need corks. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to go here because I get to do two of these and I get to do these orange ones because, yeah, because they're better. So I'm going to do the gain two magic power and gain a scroll first. And then I think we're going to do the Activating two mages. So that'll be that one and that one. Very good. Okay, so that's 
that's looking quite good. We're still in a position where I need, um, <laughs> I need bottles. But where's the nearest market? It's here and here. I'm miles away. This is where the secret passages come in handy. But we've not got a yeah, secret got... passage for a market yeah. in this game. No, and I'd quite like a uh, secret passage for the magical arts. But yeah. So we haven't got that either. Going to the magical arts. Okay. Uh, I can recommend it. It's, it's <laughs> it's very good. You gain one power for going there. Yeah. And you can either use that or you could use a secret passage to the tavern. I'm going to use that. You can use that. Okay. So gain one scroll. And three power. Three power. Pull them scrolls. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Are they worth anything? At the end? Scrolls are not worth anything. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to get rid of them, am I? But you can spend them here. You're right. I depending on what your forgot about that. exchange rate is. Yeah, no one's been to the centre. Well, five, oh, you did once, I think. Five to one. Buy it. Maybe have another plan. So is it my go? It is. Yeah, okay. So we'll go to yep. uh, the manufactory. manufactory. And I'll choose to do the manufactory. I'm going to do the two cost week. Well, it's a week option anyway. Yep. Um, One of those. And an item of equipment. So if you do take a third staff, that's five points at the end of the game. That is hideously tempting. The other option, yeah, I think even though, yeah, okay, I'll take it, yeah. And just leave it on top, you don't have to use it. Yeah, I won't use it at the moment. Then um, I will stop her this bottle, which gives me three orange. Three oranges. So the, orange so the orange goes back, back in the bag. In. These all come off. Taking them out. Three coins. You, you get you get a cork. Whichever of these you choose. Do you want three coins or do you want a mage? And it could be an advanced one, which comes with the key. Yeah, I'm desperately short of money. I'll take the coins. Take the three think. coins. So you get that. And because. I've got a stopper, I'll stop another that. bin nice. at it. Yes. Keep. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna go this way, but because Rob's already there, we're gonna skip past. Actually, no, I didn't take the three coins away. You didn't? No. No. That's the whole point do that. <laughs> and we're gonna go here. Think. Where do I get bottles from? Ah, I need bottles. Space for genies, yeah. Can I get uh, there? I'm, I'm going to go there. So hard. Oh. But you've got space to put move genies in there and stop. That, only that one. Only that one, yeah. That's the only one that will go in. You don't want to do that, really, do you? I was kind of waiting to see which other ones I needed so that I could yeah. use that for the set of three. But I think at this stage, I'm going to do the action first, which is this. So I'm going to spend three coins or two corks. You never have enough corks. And I've already got two hats. So I'm going to take a third hat. It's a random one from the bomb. And Lucky you. it's one that gives me a bottle. Can use right mm -hmm. then we're going to put that in there and we're going to stop it and we're going to put that in there and we're going to stop it i think because i could capture both of these oh okay It would mean using both of these, but that also means I've then got no capacity for anything else. But I think I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to fight these two, they're four each. I'm going to enlist the services of my friends. 
So that gives me two plus another one, two plus another one. So there's six. Two of my own. Got both of them. Nowhere to put them. <laughs> that was not. That was not a boss, so it doesn't replenish. So I did that. I did that. I did that. I fought the gins. That's my go done. Gins. You've won. Yeah. Um. So I was going to go there and take one of those, but unfortunately that's not an option now. Um. I'm just going to go here. And um, I can fight the big gin. You can fight the big gin first if you wanted to. It's six power. Five power there. Five and, and one more your little. There. So you little. get that. Yeah, but I. I can't. And you get. I haven't got that one face. Yeah. Okay. But as it's not boss win. The boss went. So oh yeah, yeah, I think it does. Just double check that. Whenever a boss is fleed from the board or captured, draw gin from the wagon, place them next to the action effect. So yeah, we get two more. I think uh, so. You did that first. Oh yeah, and get... then you have, and you can take any of them. Uh, I think it's better to take a key mage, isn't it? Almost yeah. always. Uh, I'll take the one on the left, please. Or thank you. You're all done. Yep. Oh, I was told them the one you were going to. No, no, that's coming oh. yet. Um, oh. To the Academy of Magical Arts. Mm -hmm. uh. um, I will fight later. So, uh, I get a scroll. Yep. Um, and I get three, three and I'll forego two. Yep. So you just get one. And then I will defeat the brown gin um, by some mechanism. So I've got. Mm, so. That would give me that two, two for one money. That would be two for no money. Mm. <laughs> it's good that one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'll spend one. Give me two and two is four. Saving your own. Saving my yeah. own. Yeah. So you capture that. Yeah. Bring in, in the ring. Uh, was there everything? That's everything, isn't it? Mm hmm Okay, so... Oh. Desperately need that, but that only allows me to do one of those things. Whereas if I go here first and then here, it's so tricky. I think in the previous game was played, I had no idea what I was doing. So it was easy. Here, now here, now here, we know here, what we're here, doing. Here, three turns thinking ahead. <laughs> I absolutely need that space. So I'm going to go here first. That's not me. OK, change of plan. <laughs> I'm here. So my options are I could go here. And I do have three, but that seems quite weak. This this does seem weak. Oh, if you've got seven scrolls, it doesn't. Hmm? I've got seven scrolls. Yeah, but your exchange rate is four. Yeah, but still, I'll just quite happily. So I'm going to go here. I don't get any bonuses for going there. Could be two if I don't push them. I only get to four do this one. Four 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 four. Four. So I'm going to go here, which means I have to give Rob something. I'm going to give you a coin. And then I am going to spend a scroll to get a bottle. And the cork. I'm going to put that in there mm. with that. Okay, you done? Yeah. Quite a pretty good turn for you, isn't it? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm going to go there. Yep. Um, and so I think I need bottles more than anything. Um, you made it a bit easier for me to go here. Yeah, yeah. to pay Arthur. Pay Arthur one. Oh. And then are you buying two bottles? I think this is probably... What bottles would you like? Um, am I buying two? You've got to be different. Yes, I'm buying two. I'm going to buy a blue one 
and a um, orange one, please. Not sure, that's the best choice, but oh well. Um, and that is that it. Yeah. Um, ah, but then I can put that blue you one. You can in put there. that in. That's it, yeah. Onto the chest, or whatever it is, the secret. Secret catacombs. Where I'll do a weak catacomb action. Yep. Two, Two money, money and, a and a white bottle. Stunish. That's lucky. <laughs> Two money. Uh, you got any more money anywhere? Yep, got that. Well done. Yep. I know here for a strong secret catacombs action. So I'm doing this twice, but I've no keys. So it's just whatever I find. And then unfortunately I'll be fighting a gin and I won't be able to beat him up. But so that's a money and a scroll. Looking for bottles. And two money in a scroll. Yeah. And I can't beat them up. Because I've only got two power and no way of getting any more. So I lose a magic power, which I will get back at the start of my next turn. Oh. So I could play a scroll to go yeah, on there. You, you can come here and you can stay there and you can pay me a scroll if you want to do that action. Don't have the power to defeat the gins, but I, yeah, I'm you not do gonna, want the. I'm not that fast. I mean, I could do with the money, but I think I'm going to go here. Okay. So you push go, my power to the max. There, yeah, power to the max. And I'm going to buy. So you are going to do the bottom row. Four money. I'm going to buy a flask. Four scrolls. You get a bottle. What would you like? Uh, blue one. Blue. Please. Oh, which means you can put the master gin into there, and that's three blue. Yep. So they're all gone. Those two go back in the bag. Brilliant. And you get a second trophy. Right. A tier two trophy. Now, one of these tier two trophies actually is worth 36 points. There's no ability on it, but it's worth 36 points instead of 30. Mm. So answer the question I was about to ask because I can't read that one from here. <laughs> Excellent. If I had more forward planning skills, it would be a bit easier, but. Mm -hmm. It seems really like two I'm, bosses on the board, and they're not going to be there for much longer. Unlikely, I'm going to get to tier three. I think, mm. um, and I've got already got a bottle, so I'm going to take this one. Yep, three coins and a mage, or nope. this one. Nope. I think this one's better. Okay, six points. Right, Arthur. Right, strong manufacturing reaction. Yep. We'll spend three coins. coins. Two stoppers. Which of these would you like? Um, if you take that, you get another coin immediately. No, the middle one's a bottle, isn't yep. it? Yeah. And I've got a thing that changes the bottle for a bottle. So I'll take the middle one. Take the hat. Yep. Do you want to use it? Is it a hat? It's a hat. Well, that's good. Yeah, I'll use it, and then I'll immediately use the um, other one to turn it into a uh, brown bottle. Do you want to exchange something else as well while you're at it, or not? What do you mean? Well, it's it's do what a bottle exchange twice. I don't know what is it? Yeah, if you're just doing it once. Yep. Okay. Um, then I'm going to place slightly off camera. Okay, I'm going to place that guy in there. Stop him. Oh, there's three. Place that guy in there. That's oh, why no, forget that. Place that guy in there, stop him. And I've got three white ones. Oh, what am I talking about? Yeah, you've got three whites. Three whites, three whites yeah. Which means you get a tier two roof. Yeah. Those whites go back in the bag. Right, which one would you like? Three money and a cork, three money and a mage card, two scrolls and a bottle. No, I don't actually have a need for a bottle at the minute, but I think I might have a need for a bottle in the future. Uh, there's a limit on victory points from the mage cards, isn't there? Is it uh, eight? Eight. Oh, so I'm already over that. So. Well, they've got to be active. 
Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're, you're planning for them to be. what I'm going to do on my last turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, stopper looks good to me. Three coins and a stopper. Yeah, it's not to like. There you um, go. And as I've got a stopper, I will. I got the first trophy, but I've slowed down now just because I've mismanaged <laughs> this. Strange, though, isn't it? Yeah. Completely. Sometimes it's hard to get the actions you want. It is. It? It's very hard. So it wasn't a bad turn for, for a place with no gin. Hmm. I need to go here and then here. So let's do that. So let's go here. Does that trigger any of these? No. And it's only a square space. So that's quite weak. I'm going to take the one that gives me... Oh, my mana recharges to there. So if I'm going to capture one of these, then I absolutely need these more than I need the money, which was what I was going to get. So yeah, I'm going to have to refresh those two. My trusty friends. So I chose that option. And refreshed two of my mages. Is there a pass from the middle? There isn't. Okay, Rob. Oh, I don't know. Go here. Um, Hang on. Oh, I just, so, oh, oh, was you there, Arthur? I think he was there, wasn't he? You were there. Right. Sorry. So I. Okay. You can go there. That's fine. It doesn't really gain me anything, though. But... but it's this. Yeah, I don't have any money. Okay, you can choose the I don't want to do an action. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, it's so always there. I'll you take get two money. money. There you go. Because yeah. you're at your max of power. Yeah. Maxi power. Or you could have skipped over there and gone somewhere else. Could I have skipped there? Oh, no, sorry, you couldn't. No, because Arthur wasn't there. Would have liked to have done. Right, Arthur. Yeah, there's about three different places I could go to, but um, not totally ideal. I shall go here because that's always a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I will uh, take a scroll. And I will take three power. One power. Oh, yeah, and refresh too. Refresh this one. And this one. And you just refresh that one, but you actually didn't. You actually. One. Deactivated it. <laughs> okay, I'll refresh that one on this one. Okay. Sorry. My go. I go here. Right. So it's the circular tent, which doesn't get me anything, but I get to do this twice. So the first time I do this, oh, it's going to be expensive. <sighs> Going for the balls. I need the bottles. Mm. I absolutely need the bottles, but it's going to cost me two scrolls to go here. One to you, one to Arthur. It's hideously, hideously expensive. I spend two money and I buy a blue and a brown. No. No. A blue and an orange. Okay. Then my second one is I go to there, spend a scroll to get a cork and a brown. Next, we fight. No, next, I stop at that into there. And then we fight the boss. The boss is six. I've got my own two and two money to generate the six that I need to capture the boss. And he comes with the blue one. And then what we do is we put the boss in there. And I now have three filled orange bottles. So those go back in the bag. That goes out. 
And I now get... Think you handed over three? Oh, there's a boss guy. Yeah, there's yeah, boss. Yeah. Um, oh, I definitely put that in the wrong place. Right. I'm going to take this one, which is going to be three coins. And I'm going to take this one, which comes with the key. Right. I feel like I've caught up. Oh, we jumped ahead. <laughs> well, there's now only one more boss yeah. on the board. As soon as that goes, mm -hmm. we finish that round and then we play one more round. Yeah. Who's so I started? you started. So I could either go for bottles or I could refresh. That would be six points if I refresh three things. Or if I go for bottles. Two whites have just appeared. Yeah. Uh, Randomly taken out of the bag. Your boss. Indeed. I'll get, I'll get different ones, so it's not going to make me complete the set. So, the most I can hope for that, and that will be. And I'm only got one, so that's 10 points that way. Or majors is 6 points. But I don't know if they're doing things to it. Hmm. I might as well do that. Oh, this is tricky. I don't have to use my mage any. No, no, you get me. One more turn after that. Sorry, I'm just planning thinking, the demise of the other boss. Thinking out loud here. Um, Definitely, you can plan ahead quite a bit. Yeah. In this. Um, so if I, ah, oh, I can't stay there. Oh, that's annoying. That kind of forces my hand. I think. It's time for a poll. Unless I go here. Yeah. Could do it that way. So I'll go there. I have to pay for the scroll. Okay, there is a poll running. I pay my money. Vote on who you think is going to win. You give uh, me some money, have you? Yes, yeah, so your money. I'll just go here. Yep. To gain a flask and a stopper. So you spent the scroll. Yeah. What flask would you like? Uh, orange one. The orange one. And a stopper. That's, that's it, I think. The archive. Super archive. Super archive. I will do. Give me too many. No, no, I will do. On. Yeah. Let's reactivate a mage, and I will do. Oh, maybe I'm getting too many. Too late for going to go and do this thing, I think. Oh. Okay. So, how am I going to get a tier three thing? I don't think I am. I think it's going to be so much extra hassle for me to get a tier three thing because I've messed up my colours and probably best just trying to stop for as many things as I can. So, I need another tent. Am I going to be able to get to another tent before the game is over? Because it's one, two, three away. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I can go to the centre to get. You've got enough scrolls. I've only got two scrolls. My exchange rate is three. Yeah. Which is meh. So does that mean you've gone past the critical point six? Yes. I have. So I've, I've lost out on my eight points. And I've not really benefited from that. I'm very pleased to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think I'm going to go here. I do get a coin for going there because it's one of my chest icons. 
Oh, and I get another coin for that. So, okay, shame they're not worth anything at the end. I get to take one of these two. Um, it doesn't really matter because I'm just I'm just getting this for end of game points. So I'll take that one. That's me done. Right. I'm gonna go into here. A chest. A double chest space. Um small amount of trigger to game end. First one? Yeah. Two coins oh, and a blue oh. bottle. I've got some blue one. Thank you. Second one? Yeah. Two coins and a brown bottle. No opportunity to use a kit. Both the wrong colours. Uh, but I'm going to kill the genie. The big one? The big one. Okay. So that's going to trigger the end of the that's game, really which means we get one, one more turn each. One. Oh. Five. Oh, power two turns, right? Plus. No. 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 If I had two turns, I, I could have got the third tier. So I Ditto. <laughs> my mage, or I could use my key. Because... You were a meanie. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to do what I can't do. So, so you've spent six power. That's what the good yeah. news is. So you get that one, and you get that one. Yeah. So that triggers the end of the game. We do get two new things here, two new gins, turning up out of the bag. So we, we finished that round, but because Rob was the last player, that has finished that round. We now get one, one more turn each. each. Anything else you want to do on your turn? Don't think there is anything I can do. Okay. So we one more turn. <laughs> you can get. Are you missing a cork? I'm missing a cork. Otherwise, okay. you could have got the third tier. Yeah. So one more turn each. In addition to the one we're going to get, we could have all probably got the third tier. Mm. Just. Oh, well, then it's a wash. Just. Okay. And right. The third tier rule is that great? It, Maybe. Yeah. It might might not actually be anything because at the end of the game, these extra but, bonuses aren't worth. Uh, Maybe they're a flask is, yeah, flask and a mage would be because of yeah. that. Yeah, but other than that, yeah, well, corks are one point each, so yeah. mm. very, very little okay. actual benefit. So my options are to go to the chest, chest and up. get something that probably will not improve my score. That's all. our last turns, or I can go to here and get a cork, which is worth a victory point. I believe. I'm going to do that before I forget. Mm, I guess there's blue and yeah. I guess I have to do that. So I'll go here. Yeah. Um, I secret no, catacombs no, or manufactory of magical items. Yeah, manufactory. I think uh, I can only do the weak action. Too many. So spend too many. Cork. What would you like? Any, any difference? Anything worth points? Is no the question. Uh, Not unless it's your third no, one at a time. It won't be. No. So there's a persistent effect. No use whatsoever. Another persistent effect, no use whatsoever. And the other's one-time use. One-time use. When you go to the market, you don't have to move. Which I'm never going to do. No. Um, give me the persistent effect. Here. What, when they have one, a cloak... You've got two stars, haven't you, already? So you've got three. three stars. Oh, three, three, sorry. But if you have a cloak, mm -hmm. you've completed your oh, equipment set. Not that it gets you any points, but it's quite nice. It looks nice, yeah. So that moves that That up moves up on, and you gain two power. power. Right, so you're all done. Mm -hmm. My last turn of the game is to move to here it is a circular chest so i will take that which is three coins which is of no use whatsoever and that which is one coin and a scroll and if i spent a key which is worth keys are not worth anything at the end of the game. Three no, three points. They were in the last game because of the scoring. Oh, oh, but in this game, keys are not worth anything. Okay. Yeah. So I am going to spend that key <laughs> to gain a cork. I needed bottles, mm. and I didn't get any bottles. Yeah, I could have got there and got bottles, and you still got. So I am going to spend. Ten cork. Three to thirty, or I could have got. Uh, I'm losing two points by doing this. In order of defeating two genies as well. You are very mean. But I'm gaining ten. So I spend a coin. I planned it. Yes. To get the help of this mage for three power. Plus one is four. To get that one, and then put it in there. Yeah, like so. That was much longer. Range. And that is it. 
No, I'll get one go. My go's finished? Yeah, is it for me? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Your, Your final go. Um, I get two points for a mage there. I can use the market to flip three mages. You six came points. from that direction, didn't you? Uh, I came from this direction, so but I can't I go there. I think you came from that direction, so, so you can't go back there. I can only go there or there. Or did he come from the central market? No, I came. I think came, came from, from there. Okay. Yeah, sorry, you're right. So I go here, maximize my mana, which is a bit pointless. Uh, but then I can spend four scrolls to get a stopper. You might as well flip two things over. That's worth four points. That's worth four points because of this scoring yeah. card. A stopper is worth ten. Yeah, it's worth seven. Oh. Seven. Yeah. Forgot you had a thing. Yeah. So that there is three. Put it in a bottle, it's worth ten. Yeah. Although the bottle itself is worth one. So it's actually only six. Only six. But it's still better, it's still better than four. Yeah. We're all so close to our third tier. Yeah. Right. We're all done. So the poll says 60% of people think I'm going to win. 40% of people think Arthur's going to win. Sorry, Rob. Okay. Well. There was only 10 votes. We've, only, we've got 47 people watching. Yeah. Only 10 people have voted. Very disappointing. Probably right. Anyway. <laughs> it's my confidence, you see. I'm going to end the poll because we are now about to do the scores. Now, there is no score pad provided in this game, but... We thought that would be a problem, but it's actually fairly quick to add up your scores. So, Arthur, Roof Tiles, 60. 60. Uh, gins in Bottles, 20. 2. 20, yeah. So, so we're already at 80. We're already higher than we scored this afternoon. Mm. Uh, gins Captured, Not in Bottles, nope. 0. So, yeah, 80. Spare Bottles and Corks, one. 1. So, 81. And now the scoring card. Did you get that? Yes. Eight, so that's 89. Yes. Another eight. Yep. So that's 97. Yeah. And five. Yep. Because you've got three staffs. 102. Yes. Oh, Ralph is saying we haven't played the last turn. Hang on a minute. We have played the last Hang turn. Hang on a minute. There may be a rule that I forgot earlier on. Thank you, Ralph, for pointing this out. And this, I apologise for this, because this is a rule that I asked him about last week, and I'd forgotten what he said. So, after the game has ended, we all take one more turn, which we've done, and then there was something else. We all place our mages on the magic source, and we perform actions on the magic source. So, apologies for that. We did forget to... Yeah, the overview card, you did mention the overview card, but... Assuming this is what you mean by the overview card, I'm not... I'm not really seeing anything on here to say that. But anyway... I'd forgotten that. So we all get to do this. Now, Rob, would that have meant that you did something different? Yeah, because I would have taken a different... On the last action. turn. So what would you have done on the last turn? You were here. Yeah, I don't know what gives me points, though. Um, yeah, I'm not sure... Getting a mage would give me two points. There you go. Um, so do that. Yeah. So if you go there, you take a mage. Okay. Right, so once we've all taken our turns... Oh, he says the other one. There's a general overview card for the end of the game. Is there? Ah... Uh -huh. As a second overview card. I hadn't seen that. So at the end of the game, you finish that round, you do one more round, and then everybody goes to the middle. Okay. So right. So now everybody goes to the middle. Yep. And first goes to the middle. We can all do this simultaneously, yeah. but Already spent my force you, you've done yours. I don't think I have anything to do. I do. I will spend four scrolls on a lot. Because I've only got three scrolls and my exchange rate. Oh no, my exchange rate is three. I've not got a thing. Uh, I can. It's still worth a point. Is the bottle worth a point? Yeah. The bottle is worth a point. So it makes a mighty one point. I don't need to untie it there. Oh, that's even better for me. Uh, if it weren't for the fact all my guys were activated. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll spend four scrolls well, on a point. It's actually even better for me. So I get 103 rather than 102. Yeah, so I spent three scrolls, bought a bottle, put that in it. I think Bob's going to win. Okay, so back to the scores. 103. Yep. Right. 60 plus 50. 110. 110. 110. 113. 114. 116. 121. Because I've got three, three hats. So 121. So 103 for Arthur, yep. 121 for me. Rob. 66. 66. 
96. 97. 105. 107. 107. Anything from here? So 107. So 121, 107, 103. So I did, I did get it. You got it on that last bit when you bought the extra flask, right? Because I gained you six points. Yeah. So the action that I did, wherever I did it, I can't remember. Mm. But then going here got me an extra, yeah, six or seven. So there we go, 121. Now that's a lot higher than we scored this afternoon. To be fair, the game that we played this afternoon was a learning game. None was, of us really also, know what we were doing. And it was four player as well. Um, we didn't really know what we were doing this afternoon. At least having played it this afternoon, we all went into this having certainly more of an idea of what you're trying to do to score points. One thing that I've learned from this second game is you don't need to focus on the sets. The sets are nice. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's a very minor thing, yeah. I was spending so much yes. time and effort mm -hmm. thinking, I need a set, I need a set, I need a set. And actually, that was 50 points there. Yeah. That extra set would have got me one or two extra points. Now, the extra sets early are good because they give you a boost to something which you can then use for mm. something else. But it isn't all about completing the sets. Even having, I mean, this seems really inefficient, having five gin and, and no sets. But actually, that's that's 50 points. Mm. So notwithstanding I came last, this card is really good. That it's, card seems really, really good. Ages, yeah. It's it's interesting to compare mine, which just gave me a little boost at the start, mm. and that which gives you a huge bonus through, through the, the, whole game, game. the whole game. Yeah. But the boost at the start was nice because it gave me two scrolls, which you don't normally start with. Mm. That gave me the flexibility at the start to go here and get five coins or something. That one is is really powerful, but you're not generating enough. You're not generating as much magic power yourself. Because you're spending Although, it to recharge your mages. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and you're right. And so when, whenever I went to a place, I could defeat one gin, mm -hmm. never two gin. Yeah. So that was it. Yeah. Although, eventually, <laughs> you get to the point where you can yeah. defeat many gin. Yeah. So replayability, the action tiles will be different every game, which is a slight thing. You can end up with two action tiles the same next to each other if you want to. There is a rule to say that you can't. Uh, I think for your first game, if you've watched this video and you're comfortable with the rules, I would definitely use these player powers. But if you're playing this game with new players, I would probably leave these out for the first game. And you also leave out the scoring cards. They are not needed for the game to work. But once you add in these, and there's quite a few of them, you draft them at the start of the game. That's where the player powers are going to be. They yeah, make it quite interesting. They're, they're quite easy to forget. And... Um, uh... As you say, you could do without them in the first game. In, certainly for the first game. Yeah, you've got too many, too many other things to keep track of. Mm. So me, increasing that to there was a mistake. But my overall plan was to get it up to there. Because one thing we, you didn't see in this game is, once your capacity marker is on 8, if you were to yeah. ever increase it again beyond 8, you get a random gin from the bag. So about halfway through mm. the game, I had the plan of like, right, if I'm going to push this up, yeah. Yeah. I'll continue to push it up. I'll get loads of bottles, yeah. and then I will just get random gin from the bag. And actually, I ended up not doing that at all. <laughs> yeah, and because I was incentivized to go here, maybe I should have done that because I for I for went you for went load three load. of them at least. at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. whether that extra gin would have got you more than the eight yeah. points, this this is a really interesting one. And there's also wherever the scoring cards are. There's another scoring card which says that you will score eight points at the end of the game if these two circles are still inactive. Yeah. So it's another scoring card which gives you a bonus for not doing the thing that you kind of want to do. Yeah. Um, there's another one that says eight points as long as you have only placed at most one secret passage. Uh, right. Gain eight points if your base marker... Happy, yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, it's interesting that there are scoring cards countering the things that you kind of want want to do in the game. Anyway, we are all done. So thank you very much to everybody for watching. And if you've been watching this back afterwards, give the video a like, leave me a comment. Let me know if this helped you make a decision to see 
if this is the kind of game for you or not. Thank you very much to Arthur Pleasure. and to Rob Thank for you. joining me today. We've played a game this afternoon and we've just played a game this evening. Thank you very much to Ralph for your support and your help with the rules and obviously for Hall Games for sponsoring the video. Um, I will be in Essen next week. So if you're in Essen, stop by and say hello. I will be at the Board and Dice booth in the mornings uh, and then I'm going to be at the meet and play event uh, at three o'clock on Saturday. Um, if you don't know what the meet and play event is, just Google Essen meet and play. It's a meetup for content creators uh, for people to come and see us. And that's where we're going to be at that time. And a lot of people, I think, will be watching this video either before Essen or after Essen. So, yeah, I hope it's been useful for you. Right, we're all done. Thanks again. Thank you for everybody watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>